Raise an objection. objection. Judgment has already been passed. I object to Edgeworth's outburst. Objection. You can't object to an objection! Didn't something like this happen yesterday too? I believe a certain witness raised an objection after a guilty verdict was passed. But he's not a witness. He's not been called as a witness, you doofus! We must hear this new statement. What well, we must hear, Miles Edgeworth. He's right. We have a duty to hear Mr. Edgeworth out. There's no consistent rules. I think that's kind of what I'm starting to notice. Is there's no kind of consistent set of rules. It's all for narrative, and I don't like that. A good set of rules actually helps you have a stronger narrative because it kind of focuses you, or you exp or you or you explain why there's differences and the differences in the rules or why the rules are broken. Ah, right. For fifteen years, I've had a recurring dream, a nightmare. It's it's only a nightmare. That's what I told myself. But now I know it wasn't a dream. Yanni Yogi wasn't the killer. You mean? In the incident where your father died? From the distance of the shot, it wasn't suicide either. Everything was as clear as day. The murderer. The criminal in the DL6 incident. I mean, if he's going to say what he's going to say, not a murderer! Well. It was me, Your Honor. I confess my guilt. So how old is he? Is he in third grade? I don't know what that, mean, what that makes him. Around about ten? Like, I think that... Well, a little, yeah. So he's not. You, he can't be tried as. I don't know if. He, I don't know how that works. But it's like he can't. He couldn't have been tried as an adult at the time. And uh, this is breaking my brain. I'm guilty for the old sixth century of limitation of which ends today. Corporate, it's me. Order, order. Uh, this is certainly unexpected. The defendant declared innocent is confessing to a different crime? A crime for which the statute of limitation runs out today? I'm not really sure how I should deal with this. Is the statute of limitations you can't be convicted of the crime, or is it you can't be charged with the crime? Because I think surely he could be arrested and then we have another set of trial days. But I'm guessing this is... When, I'm guessing we're going to do that in this, this day rather than anything else. Bah! It's obvious. We hold a trial right here, right now. Just delay everyone else. Try this man for his crime of 15 years ago. And just, yeah, just delay everything else. This is not important. I think. I think I'd like to take a five minute recess. During this time, I will consider the appropriate course of action to take. Court is adjourned. He might not actually. Okay. Thinking in real world, he might not have the authority to start a new trial because it hasn't gone through the various prosecu prosecutorial processes. Maybe. I don't know. I'm sorry, right? I've just wasted all of your effort. Mr. Edgeworth, I just don't believe it, sir. I mean, you. Kill your dad. I didn't want to believe it myself, detective. But it's the truth. I deserve to be punished. Murder is murder, no matter what the circumstances. No, uh, I mean, killing is killing, I'll accept that. But murder is murder is... It, no! Well, I mean, yes, literally, murder is murder, but in this case, no, it's different. This is crazy, just crazy. Nick, what are you doing? Huh? Oh. I was just reading through the court record once more. I'm getting my case ready. Y your case? For what? Huh? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to prove Miles Edgeworth is innocent. Wh well, what are you talking about, pal? He just admitted to it. He confessed that he did it. In court. I'm sorry, Ed. I'm sorry, Edgeworth. I don't believe your nightmare. Wh what? It's just a dream. It's not real. The truth is right here in this court record. In any case, tighten your belts. A real fight. It's just beginning. I'll prove you're innocent. Trust me. R right. I was waiting for the rest of the sentence there, but all right. Now then, I would like to resume our trial. You know, it's not resuming a trial, because it's a different case. Now I'm quibbling on the words used. 
judge. Miles Edgeworth has admitted his own guilt. He has confessed his crime. Let us begin by hearing his testimony. Then, though pointless, let the defense do their cross-examining. The statute of limitations on the DL6 incident runs out today. Though it's unconventional for me, I'd like to run this one by the book. <laughs> I see. Does the defense have any objections? So, maybe in this world the statute of limitations means the conviction can't happen after that period? I think... I think in the real world, I think it's you can't be charged after the statute runs out. But you can still be convicted once you're in the system. No, Your Honor. Von Karma. You knew this was going to happen from the very beginning, didn't you? Very well. Will Miles Edgeworth take the stand? Will the witness state his name and profession? Miles Edgeworth. Prosecuting attorney. Mr. Edgeworth, 15 years ago you mistakenly killed your father, Gregory Edgeworth. See, even he thinks it's not murder. Is this correct? It is correct. Then testify about this matter to the court. Edgeworth was telling me about his dream yesterday. I noticed something. One detail didn't quite fit. That will be the key. But only if I can get it to work. Please, please. That day, I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As we were went to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. My father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted them to stop fighting. A moment later, there was a single gunshot, then a scream. It was a terrible scream. I remember it to this day. That's all. Let's check the court record, then. We've got this. I want to compare this with this one, because they're kind of... They look the same. Um... No clues found on this. Guy was shot... With a gun. There was a gun in the lift. No. So the... Hang on. Yeah. No clues. I suspect that might just be an error. Which is annoying. Like, I can't... This is the thing, is I don't feel like I can trust the game. But that's the thing. And until now, you thought this memory was merely a dream? We were stuck in that, in that elevator for five hours. The oxygen in the elevator ran out. I lost my memory of the events. Bah. Same claim Mr. Yogi has made. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Blah, 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 blah. That day, I'd gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As we went to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the lift. My father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. What did you do then? I was a nine-year-old boy at the time. What could I do? I was scared, trembling in the corner. But then... So just then, something heavy fell at my feet. What was it? A pistol. I assume it was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi's. The safety must have come off when it fell from his holster. And you picked it up. What happened next? Picked it up, threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted them to stop fighting. Did you know it was a pistol when you threw it? I think I knew. I knew it was dangerous, but the air was getting so thick, I panicked. So you're saying that you threw the pistol at Mr. Yogi? I was in a daze. A moment later, there was a single gun shot, then a scream. The gun fired once? Yes, I think after I threw it, I lost consciousness. Since then, they've echoed in my head every day. That gun shot and that horrible scream. The scream. No, 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 no. No, hang on, I need to check that. One bullet. Murder weapon was fired twice. Okay. Are you sure you only heard one good shot? Yes, I'm sure of that. 
I heard the shot and the scream. Then everything faded. I was unconscious until the rescuers came. I see. No, Your Honor. Unfortunately, you don't. Look at this file one more time. This plainly contradicts the witness's testimony. You do enjoy dragging out that file, don't you? I don't accept this evidence unless you can tell us what page it's on. Which page contradicts... So you can't just, like, throw it out. But it's the... Murder weapon side. Victim data. Um... It's so you can't just go, it's about the DL6 incident, let's use the file. In that case, why not just make it three separate points? I don't know. Look at the victim data in this file. Make it three different items, there we go. It says quite plainly, the murder weapon was fired twice. Miles Edgeworth only heard one gunshot, yet the murder weapon was fired twice. The first shot was the accidental firing when the pistol was thrown. So, who fired the remaining shot? Hmm. Was there perhaps another shooter who fired that second shot? Your Honor, as I'm sure you're aware, this incident occurred 15 years ago. The evidence is dated. The pistol did fire twice. However, we do not know when that second shot was fired. It might have been fired the day before the incident. There is no proof the second shot had anything to do with this incident. What? Hmm. I see, I see. You do have a point, Mr. Wright. The murder weapon was fired twice, as we have heard. One of those shots was fired by the defendant, a boy at the time. Do you have any proof that the other shot fired had something to do with the case? I don't know. Yes. Because if it was that weapon, one went out and one hit him. Because that's where one bullet is. Right. So maybe it's not that it was fired out of there. It was fired into there. Okay. The incident photo. Your Honor, I think I'll be able to show you proof. W what? Impossible. Now, now, Mr. Von Karma. Save your surprise for after you've seen the evidence. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show us your proof. Do you have evidence the second firing of pistols related to this incident? Yes. Because I did point this out. The hole... So it's not actually someone going, something going in, coming in. It must be going out. That must have been the act, the fight, the accidental shot that Miles had. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it, makes me laugh. This is a photograph of the scene of the crime 15 years ago. I can see that the victim lying there is Gregory Edgeworth. This proves the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. This photo proves it. So let me get this straight. This photo proves two shots were fired. Where? How? Your Honor, please. Please get a clue. Show the judge the contradiction in the photo. Yeah. As should be obvious, the contradiction is here. I see a, a bullet hole in the door. Your Honor. Gregory Edgeworth was killed by a shot from the pistol. Yet, there's also a bullet hole in the elevated door. We also know the murder weapon was fired twice. Thus, someone other than Edgeworth fired the second shot. Technically, he didn't fire the first shot either, but that's neither here nor there, and I've already complained about it. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? It's simple, Your Honor. At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One went into Gre Gregory Edgeworth's heart, the other hit the elevator door. Remember that the defendant lost consciousness after the shot he fired rang out? In conclusion, we must, we must agree the second shot was fired by someone else. Met Mr. Wright, but who could that someone else be? The murderer, of course. I knew I should have stepped in before your wild fantasies got out of hand. Mr. Wright, look once more at the DL6 incident case file. Look closely. Try the case summary page. Case summary. That's on page one. Look what is written there. Not a single clue was found on the scene. Well, we know that's not true because the murder weapon was there. Because they knew it had been fired twice. If the pistol had indeed been fired tw two times, the other bullet would have been discovered on the scene. 
He does have a point. That second bullet has never been found. Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. The bullet that claimed Gregory Edge... Edge Edgeworth's life was the one fired by his own son. That is the truth of this matter. The whole truth. Because undoubtedly something else that made that bullet hole in the door. Like what? Are you going to put any evidence forward? Nope. Order! I will have order! Mr. Wright has proven one thing to us quite clearly. The murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. However, as Mr. Falcomer says, the second bullet fired was not found. It is highly unlikely the police merely overlooked the second bullet. All we have is the single bullet fired. Afraid I have to discount the defense's claim. What? I mean, you can pick up, like, the murderer could have picked up the bullet. Like, oh yes, oh yes, I see that you've proved that there were two shots, but just for a lark, I'm going to say it doesn't matter. I praise the judge for his wisdom in this matter. Pfft, you would. How did this happen? I don't believe the second bullet didn't exist. Was I wrong? Have I been wrong about this whole incident? What are you doing, Nick? Why aren't you raising an objection? I'm sorry, Maya. What? It, it looks like I was wrong. Nick. If the second bullet wasn't there, then all my conjectures are for nothing. No, they're not. Just conjecture something else. No, no, no. But you said you'd do it, Nick. You said you'd get Edgeworth declared innocent. I'm sorry. It's just, when I saw the photograph, I thought that two shots would be fired. Oh my goodness, it's clear that two shots were fired, you numpty. So certain of it. I thought I'd won. I thought there was another person, someone else who fired the killing shot. There was. But now, I was wrong to think it could be that simple. This case has stood unsolved for 15 years. Yeah, because Von Karma doesn't want anyone solving it, because he was probably the guy who did it. He's got a motive. Well, it seems we have finally cleared up this incident. Only one bullet was found at the scene of the crime. The shot was fired by Miles Edgeworth. No. Yeah, well, okay, there was... No! No! I'd like to ask one before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to the trial so far? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any objections? No. No, I do not. So you killed your father, though that was not your intention. Yes, I did. Oh, no. He's accepted the guilt. Very well. The statute of limitation of the murder of Gregory Edgeworth runs out today. I must pronounce a verdict on the defendant today, right here. Right now. Indeed. Does anyone have any objections? I've been here before. It's just like my first day in court. There's so many things I know I should be saying. That's gone blank. I can't find the words. M Mr. Wright? Yes, I've got an objection. objection. I object. What's the point in giving you those choices? Basically, like, yeah, I'll end the game. On what grounds do you object? Oh, oof. Nick? I don't know. His case is perfect. It clearly isn't! It's not! Like, he doesn't have a case! He's argued that, the, oh, there wasn't a second shot. Like, someone could have picked it up. A second bullet. It must exist. The second bullet. What, what? What did you just say? N nothing. Second bullet must exist, but where? Someone took. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, this. I think this is part of what's kind of annoying. Is it's like there's o very obvious things that are st things that should be being argued for, and then the game does this like dramatic reveal of here's this really obvious thing that you've already thought of, or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just really good at detective fiction and puzzles and stuff.